welcome back to my channel. First off, I just want to apologize for being absent from my channel last week. As most of you guys know, my kids were sick and they passed it along to me and I was very sick last week so I was not able to record, edit, and upload as much as I usually do. I was able to upload two videos just because I did pre-record those videos, but other than that, I wasn't able to upload as I usually do. So I also wanna say thank you so much to everyone who reached out to me, wishing me well wishes and saying that they were praying for me to get better soon and also for my kids. I really, really do appreciate it and I love all the love and support that you guys always give me. I appreciate it so much. So again, thank you so much to everyone who reached out to me. Okay guys, so let's just jump right into today's video. As you guys can see from the title, today's video is going to be five ways to use essential oils. I love using essential oils. I own so many different scents, so I thought I would share with you guys five ways that I use them in my house. And maybe if you guys don't already know of these five DIYs using essential oils, maybe you guys will get an idea or two and use it in your house as well. So the five essential oils DIYs that I'll be sharing with you guys is one, how to reuse your Bath & Body Works wall plugins using your essential oils. Two is how to make a spray to get rid of the spiders that are in your house. Number three is how to make a all-purpose cleaner spray for your home. Number four is how to freshen up your garbage can. And number five is going to be how to make your own carpet cleaner at home. So yeah, those are going to be the five DIYs that I will be sharing with you guys Hopefully you guys can get some new ideas to use in your own home. So now let's get into the video of how I make these essential oil DIYs. Okay guys, so for these five essential oil DIYs, you're going to need eucalyptus, peppermint, lavender, tea tree, and lemon essential oils. You will also need baking soda, two empty plastic spray bottles, one mason jar, a cotton ball, an empty Bath & Body Works wallflower, a spoon, and also some type of pliers. You're also going to need some dish soap and also some distilled white vinegar. For this first DIY, I will be making some carpet powder. You will need some baking soda. I like to add a little bit of baking soda at a time and then I add a few drops of my lavender essential oil. I use my spoon and I mix it up and I will continue to do that until my mason jar is completely full. I also like to use leftover caps from my Parmesan cheese to add on top of my mason jar so it can make it easier for me to sprinkle the powder onto my rugs. For this next DIY, I will be making some all-purpose cleaner for my home. First, I will add some distilled white vinegar, then I will add some water and a few drops each of my lavender and lemon essential oil and just shake that all up. This next DIY, I will be sharing with you guys how to get rid of spiders in your home because nobody wants those creepy crawlers in our house. The first thing I'm going to do is add a few drops of peppermint essential oil. Then I will add some warm water and then a drop of dish soap and just shake that up and spray along all of your baseboards in your home. For this next DIY, I will be sharing with you guys how to reuse your Bath & Body Works wallflower bulbs. 
I will be using some pliers to remove the center wick that is inside of this bulb. It is a little tight and snug, but as long as you wiggle it, it will come off. Next, I will be using lavender and eucalyptus essential oils. I will use half and half, fill the bulb up halfway. Then I'm going to finish filling up the bulb with some water. Remember, do not fill it all the way up to the top because you do have to add that wick back into the bulb. When I am done filling my bulb up with my essential oils and water, I will just put it onto one of my wallflowers, plug it in, and there I have my own DIY at home wallflower. Next, I'll be sharing with you guys how to freshen up and disinfect your garbage can. You're going to need a lemon essential oil and also tea tree essential oil. Just grab a cotton ball, add a few drops of the tea tree and lemon essential oils onto the cotton ball, throw to the bottom of your trash can, and not only will it disinfect, but it also will freshen up your trash can. So those are the five DIYs that I want to share with you guys using essential oils. I'm hoping that maybe you guys got an idea or two from watching this video. And like I said before, if you guys use essential oils in your home, comment down below and let me know how you use them in your own home. I hope you guys Thank enjoyed you. today's video. If you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. And if you have not already, I would really love if you would consider subscribing to my channel and joining me and my YouTube family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.